Oh, oh no, don't eat me! Oh, okay. Uh, that ant is kind of freaking me out. Actually, this guy is a jack jumper ant, and it's really not that big. We're good to go. Today we're going to learn about how this ant right here, the jack jumper ant, goes through meiosis, meaning how does this jack jumper ant create sperm and egg? So meiosis is really about how we make sperm and egg. So today we're going to learn that process. Okay, first thing right here, why do we need meiosis? Meiosis is really important in a couple of ways. First of all, now we know it creates sperm, which is right here, and eggs. But if we look at everyone or just in this classroom, we can see that every person, every human looks different. So meiosis is really important because it creates unique offspring. So everything created through sexual reproduction or meiosis is and looks different. We all have different and unique DNA. That's why sex or sexual reproduction and meiosis is so important and it creates sperm and egg. Okay, let's step through the steps of meiosis, how we actually create sperm and egg. So if we had a cell right here to start and let's say we start off with that jack jumper ant and the jack jumper ant actually only has two chromosomes as opposed to our cells we have 46 chromosomes so let's do the jack jumper ant which has two chromosomes um, when we first start off we call this cell right here a diploid cell Diploid refers to the amount of chromosomes that the normal cell starts off with. Next, to actually create the sperm and the egg, we're going to have to double the amount of chromosomes or DNA within that cell. Um, so when we double that, these two chromosomes right here are going to go from two to four. This happens during interphase. So we'll say this is happening during interphase, and that's the phase before it actually starts dividing and going through meiosis. Okay, so we're going from two, and we're going to four chromosomes. Then we're going to start to split those apart to get ready to make sperm and egg. So these two right here are going to divide, divide into two cells, so these, these two chromosomes are going to go into this cell and these two chromosomes are going to go to this cell. This is what happens right here in meiosis 1. So really PMAT is happening. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and we get two chromosomes in each cell. We have to divide this even further for meiosis so we're going to go through meiosis 2. So this is going to go and make two new cells. And these chromosomes right here are going to split in half. So each of these new cells is going to have one chromosome. Same thing's going to happen over here. These are going to divide into two new cells, each getting their own chromosomes. Um, so these new cells all created right here, they could either be sperm or egg because the whole purpose of meiosis is to make sperm or egg. Another way we might describe these cells are haploid cells. We started off with diploid, now we have half the amount of chromosomes that we started with. We went from two to one, so since it's half the amount of chromosomes we call it a haploid cell. Also another term for sperm or egg are gametes. Something that's also important to know is when the sperm and the egg combine, that's what we call a zygote. So lots of terminology here. Make sure you go through the slide again. And remember that this part right here um, is called meiosis 2. So feel free to review through this, the slide again, look through the terminology, and make sure you look at your flashcards. Thank you.